up guys and welcome back to another one. Oh man, let's see, let's see what time it is. 4.12 in the morning, your boy had to wake up at about 3.45 here. We only got about a 30 minute drive, but today we're going to be headed out west with Cameron and the boys. We haven't hunted with Cameron and Dalton and uh, Colby and all of them uh, from Wing Chaser for a while. For quite some time, I miss my boys out west, so uh, Cameron called me. He's like, hey, come on out tomorrow. We have a feed of, this is his guesstimate on the number of birds on this feed. 5,000 specks, 5,000 snows, and 8,000 Canada geese. Wow. And a ton of ducks mixed in the bunch. So yeah, today should be an absolute crazy, crazy banger. And what your boy is going to do for y'all is I'm going to put down the gun for as much as I can. As much as I can withdraw from my gun, I'm going to put it down and I'm going to run the big camera. So today's video should be great because I'm going to be running this big camera a bunch. But, 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 before we get on the road, check out the Thermal Ducks hoodie. If you guys have ever purchased our Thermal uh, waiter sweats, you know how thick and how warm they are. Everybody that buys them sweats, everybody messages me or tells me, hey Bobby, I'm glad I bought these sweats because they are so thick and super warm. The thermal hoodie is made out of the exact same material. So if you guys want a matching top and bottom thermal hoodie from Ducks, I will link these hoodies down in the description below. You will not be disappointed. They are thick and they are warm. I'm loving them. But without further ado, I'm going to stop yapping, shut my mouth, and let's get on that road. Oh, well, we are on the road, and uh, I want to show you. A lot of times when I do this, y'all like it. I'm going to show you what I get at the quick shop and what is going to be my blind bag snack of the day. And that's a real thing for me. I haven't. I've been trying to make it more of a thing here. And... I always have to have blind bag snacks, and I mean it. I know that's a thing, and I know people have made videos on it before, but <clears throat> when we get on the road here, I do like to show you what I got, and blind bag snack of the day has to be the old kettle chips, jalapenos. I have been a big, big hot guy in the blind lately. <clears throat> Something about hot food, hot munchies, it gets them senses going, kind of wakes you back up, when the uh, shooting's slow, no birds are moving, something about hot spiciness, it just gets me going again. But like always, like always, the diet do. That is always, well, every hunt, every single hunt that is in my blind bag, no doubt. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, Mason here um, got his, uh, he got his truck buried. Look at the road here. Him and his buddy, they're going to ride with me. I had to come pick him up. Check it out. His truck is freaking buried in the snow. And it's hard packed. It's like ice. It looks like it's more ice than snow. Yeah, I've been here about 45 minutes. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, 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 well. I wanted to whip out the camera and show you the spread while we got some light on it. Because, oh my goodness, she is a beaut. So the ground is extremely frozen, um, getting everything in. All the full bodies had to go in with a hammer, uh, thanks to Dylan. Thanks, buddy. And then all the socks, we had to literally throw all the socks on the ground where we wanted them because it took two hands to get in every sock. So socks, silos total, I have no freaking idea what we got up. How many dozen we got up, you think? All right, we just did some rough calcula cal calculations. And uh, we have like right at 90, 100 dozen up. So we got about 10 to 15 dozen full bodies up. Uh, mostly white full bodies, some dark. Roughly about 70 dozen solos and 30 dozen socks. I mean, holy smokes. So we're going to get underway. We're going to get sat down. We're going to get all of our stuff ready. We'll see you in a minute. Nice, boys! I did 
nothing that was going to happen. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen either. <laughs> she she didn't either. Well, that was I was about it was a 40 45 yarder. I mean it wasn't too bad. If you got a full choke in, just send it, boys. You got to get the first shot off of the day. That's what we got to do. She dusted that dude. God, look at you. Look at the feathers falling. Woohoo! Oh, that boy dead. Boop. Oh, 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 I heard that boy slap the ground. But we are running the big camera like I told you I was going to. If you guys enjoy this big camera footage, you got to drop me a big old thumbs up right now and let me know. Because without you guys dropping the old thumbs up, Bobby don't know what you like. So look at the spread real quick. What we got going on here? Why we got a little bit of daylight? So we got solo strung way out that side. This is the body where we're sitting. Here's the foot and the kill hole. Got a little families out there. Got two mojos. Haven't seen any ducks yet. We strung solos out the left side. This is where we are sitting. We got half of the people in white, half of us in dark. We are looking good. Here we go, boys. Oh boy, oh boy, just doing it dirty. Oh boy, howdy. I was filming up here and I didn't even know that there was like three in the decoys. Boy, howdy, did them ones that got low got smoked. That one's going down right there. Ooh. Those ones that landed in the decoys absolutely got demolished. They got smoke a -roni. Yeah, the ducks, the ducks are loving the goose call for sure. Good boy.
was good. Good night. That got absolutely filthy. The lessers just went feet down on us. That was a big group. That was a big group. More lessers on the way. We're still picking up here. Holy smokes, they gave it up. Wow. Guys, we're probably just gonna sit and watch. Yeah, well, there's too much. There'd be some damage control on the, the back. Out yeah, the this is a bunch of birds here, boys. Wow. They love it. They absolutely love it. So, flocks like this, gentlemen that are watching, gentlemen and ladies, um, this is when you watch. You do not spray into big flocks like that. I mean, you're talking, how many is there, Dalton, you think? 500. 500? Goodness. And they love the spread. Love it. We're not even calling anymore. You hear all the specks in there. That's why. One of the main reasons you can't just go spraying into that. Oh man. Oh man, I think it's gotten colder. Your boy is out here shivering, let me tell you. But we're shutting her down for the day. What an amazing shoot that was. That was a good one. That was one of the better field hunts of the season so far. Let's check out this here pile, shall we? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. Woof. Woohoo. That's a train, boys. That is a choo choo train right there. Absolutely just hammered them. Our shooting was beautiful. We, we really did shoot really, really good for the amount of decent sized volleys that actually did it in the decoys. But the two volleys that really did it big time, we shot really, really, really good. So, worked out really good. Winter wheat right now in the Lesters, this is what to do. If you guys are wanting to know the little secret, the little secret in the jar, got to get on the winter wheat fields and you got to get out in the center of them. That means you got to lay under some white socks. You got to mix some dark socks, some white socks. You got to lay out in them decoys in the wheat fields. I know a lot of times it's easier said than done trying to hunt these uh, middle east wheat fields, but if you can do it, you're probably going to get it done, especially when it's cold. You got just the right breeze. The breeze is only like eight mile an hour right now. All the socks are just bobbing. So perfect, perfect situation today. <laughs> well, we are picked up. It only took like 30 minutes. We, we ended up sitting like 10 dozen full bodies. That was it. The full bodies. That's where the work comes in. If you sit a lot of full bodies, you're going to be picking up a lot of full bodies. It's going to take a lot of time. These silos and socks, they go quick. But big shout out to Cameron and the boys at Wing Chaser Outfitters again. They put it together. If you guys want to book with them, listen to the man. What do you got for him? Hold on. Oh, are you eating something there, bud? Oh, sorry. I'm hungry. I'm eating Zaka. Oh, you're a working man. You're a growing boy. Mm -hmm. You're a growing boy. Growing boy. I booked with them and I'm not sorry. Oh, see? I loved it. Right there. There's your proof in the pudding right there. Hi, guys. If you want to book a hunt with us, our dates are January through February 18th for Canada's and Snows and Specs. Spring conservation season opens February 18th, so book with us. You heard the man. They got like four e collars. I don't know, uh, like 80 dozen full body snows. So the conservation hunting, they are booking right now for the February conservation snow goose hunting. That means no plugs, no limits. So if you guys are looking to come to Kansas and book you a snow goose conservation hunt under the e-collars and everything else, get a hold of him on Instagram right here. That's the best way to get a hold of him is to contact Cameron on Instagram. Shoot him a DM. Oh, but look at the old topper doing work. There is 55 dozen decoys in the back of that topper. Tell me that isn't awesome. Like, tell me that isn't awesome. And any of you guys that have been skeptics saying, I don't know if I should buy the silhouette decoys. Yeah, I don't know if they work. Well, there's your proof right there. Oh, remember this morning when I said old Mason got stuck? <laughs> Let's check this out. Look at him. He's toast. That's where he was trying to go. He was, you were trying to make the first pass through that there, Dill. Yeah. yeah, the uh, snow that we still have here, the big drifts, it's not snow anymore. It's ice, so it's hard. It's extremely hard. So I'm going to try to get him out here. I'm going to watch. Oh, yeah, this is going to work. Oh, yeah. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh wow, that strap is not liking it. Oh, get back. Ooh, that strap isn't liking it. Is that strap gonna break? 
I, I mean, it's stretching. It's definitely stretching. Oh man, he's sitting. He's sitting on the frame. I mean, he's all the way on the frame. Well, we got that darn truck out. The camera actually died. It's only at 10% again. I had to put it in here on the heater to get the battery fired back up. But what an amazing hunt. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. I've never closed out a, uh, a video on the truck, so I said, you know what? Perfect opportunity. Had a great, great, great morning. That winter wheat, I'm telling you, those birds, I have not seen a commitment like that this season so far. That was quite amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, you really need to do so. And if you like this video, tell me. Give me a big old thumbs up. But thank you guys for being here. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this stuff every day and enjoy my life. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys enjoy the channel. That's why it's here. It's for all you waterfowl loving mother ducks out there just like myself. You know, that's, that's why I created it. It was just for the average, the average duck hunter. You know, these big hunts they're always a bonus. But thank you for being here yet again. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.